Hello everybody, this is Whizbur100, you're the viewers and I'm the vlogger, and well, it's that time again of the month where I talk about all the things that happened during the last month of July. And so here we go. Videos I have done, well, the only video I've done for this, for last month of uh, July is Flicky on the Sega Genesis Quickie. So Flicky Quickie. I am, or at the time of this uh, recording, I am working on the next quickie and trying to finish that up so I can move on to bigger things that I wanted to do. So, yeah, there was going to be two videos during the month of July, but, ugh. I, I, I'm lazy and I procrastinate. You should know this by now, but that doesn't mean I'm still not trying. Just need to get that, uh, just need to get on to doing that. Because they don't really take that long, it's just, I'm so overconfident that I'm like, oh, I can do it later. So let's go to the plans I have for next month of August. Well, like I said, finishing Season 2 of the Sega Genesis Quickies so that I can work on bigger stuff that I've been putting off and putting off. If you've seen, like, other things, like, uh, because I, I mentioned before that I've been working on some... I wanted to work on some of the bigger stuff that I wanted to do, like say for certain events like Halloween, and then there are other things like uh, the video I wanted I'm, I wanted to do, or that I'm doing with Mike Maverick on the ABGN adventure game, I still haven't recorded my stuff for it, so I wanted to get that out of the way, or get to working on that, at least, so I can give it to him, and then a few other things, so yeah, I'm hoping to finish Sega Gen Genesis, uh, Season 2 of Sega Genesis Quickies! And after finishing that, working on the big reviews that I wanted to do, the long scripted and all and all that good stuff, and I'll try to do a lot more of them before I go back to Season 3 of Sega Genesis Quickies. Okay, because I'm pretty sure you guys are kind of wanting something a little bigger, more in-depth, and maybe I actually put something humorous for you to enjoy. And let's see, uh, I also want to work on streaming a little more. I keep saying that every month, but it's like, I don't do it. I don't, uh, it's not like I have a shortage of games to, like, stream. It's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know which one to play and be in the mood for. That especially goes for my LP. I should just pick a game and just play it, and then... Why, why am I making it so difficult? Oh, I don't know. I don't have the mood. I'm Wizard 100. I, I make that possible. So, I'm trying try and do more streams and definitely try to work get like another let's play going on my let's play channel with hitman so moving on to things i've picked up all right the things i've the games i've picked up in the month of july is um wario mega party games because i've played it before at Unreal's house when I was in Connecticut, and I I quite enjoyed it. The party element of it is quite fun too, even though even or even though everyone else lost, but it was kind of funny. So I wanted to buy it. It was 25 bucks, which uh, is better than most of the price I usually see it for, which is like 35 to 40 bucks. So I thought that I thought 25 was a reasonable deal, and got it while it was still. At a low price. I always have these things when I'm looking at games. It's like, should I buy it now before it gets before the price like jumps up really high? And then it's like, oh well, I'm not buying that anymore. So, yeah, WarioWare. Uh, the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring on Game Boy Advance. Got it for five bucks, and the only reason I bought it is because this game sucks. And if it's gonna suck, I'm probably thinking of doing, you know, like a bad funny, com comedic, entertaining, entertaining, entertaining review on it, because I've played it before, and I didn't like it, so I figured I'll pull, I'd grab the game and see if there's any, anything comedic I can, uh, or anything in a video I can make comedic about it, so we'll just have to see, we'll probably stream that somewhere. Game. I, another game I got. Oh, right, I got the Spider Man game on GameCube, the one based on the Sam, the first Sam Raimi movie. I kind of. I, I've played it before at. Uh, let's see, at Navy Games Game Station, but. So 
So I wanted to like see what else was gonna happen in the game, and I kinda somewhat regret it, but maybe it's because I turned the difficulty up too high, because hey, you get to unlock stuff on hero mode, which is basically hard mode. And maybe it's not such a good idea, good idea to go through the game first on hard, so... I might have to tone it down and maybe it'll be a lot more reasonable, because I'm dying in like the early stages like, like, snap. There's so much other things, that, like, ah, we'll just have to see if I truly regret it. And it was only like seven bucks, so it wasn't too, too bad. Then there was, speaking of, uh, arachnids and bugs, I got Bob. I don't know if he's actually, uh, I don't know if he's actually a bug, but he kind of looks like a bug to me. I guess that's why he's called Bob on the Super Nintendo. This one, I don't see this game often, so I just I, I just bought it right off. It was $18, but I was like, eh, this, I don't see that often, and I don't, I didn't check online, so, yeah, it might have been cheaper online, but hey, it was in person, and it, uh, it plays like a Mega Man game. And I remember playing it when I was a kid, so I wanted to get a copy of it myself. But we'll have to see if it was, uh, worth all of that. Next on the things I've done. Not sure if I should change it to top three things I've done, but we'll just see, uh, what happens. So, the things I've done during the month. Uh, I've seen... I got to watch a couple of movies with my friend D. Tysonator on, uh, our movie nights. Uh, I've seen... I got to see Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 for my first time. Uh, and, and I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I own Terminator 2, but I never saw it. I only watched it with him, but I definitely enjoyed Terminator 1 a lot more than 2. Like, 2 was good, but uh, 1 was a lot more gritty and dark, and I liked that more. And yeah, 2, two, two was fun. Fun. It was, but it was more action-y, but the, the tone of it, I, I, one, I, I liked 1 better. So, there was that. Which also leads to uh, Terminator Genesis that I saw this month, and I really, really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's as good as the as the first two movies, but definitely better than three and four, which I've never seen, but I heard it was pretty bad, and it looks pretty bad too. But Terminator Genesis, if you're a fan of the first two uh, Terminator films, I would definitely go watch it. Fuck what the critics say; they don't. They're just assholes. So go watch Terminator Genesis. It's. I thought the casting was good and. The plot was kind of... The plot was relatively nice, at least uh, in terms of the Terminator franchise, and... Let's see, I really, really liked the, like, the first half of it, where it was just like, if you're fans of the first two, you're gonna really, really enjoy it. Although, there's always a few questionable things, but I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, speaking of time travel, like films, uh, there is also... I also saw... Back to the Future 1 for my first time too, and I enjoyed it, it was fun. But none of all the movies I just said I saw is better than Robocop, okay? Robo- I just, Robocop is still probably on my top three, near the very first. So, nothing beats that, yet. Let's see, another thing is I went to Con Bravo uh, this month, in the month of July, and it was pretty good, it was- it wasn't- as good as last year. Last year was quite good, but this year it was very, very, very uh, close and comparable to last year. And if I had to give a number, last year was like 90% really good. This year it was like 85. Oh, look, not not as good, but still quite good. And why did I think that was the case? Well, not not counting, you know, us going as guests last time. No, I'm not counting. Kind of, and Luke asked me to stop, stop that crap. So, yeah, yeah, I, honestly, I'm not counting that part. Um, let's see, the guesses weren't as good as last year, even though you got most of them from last year, which is, which is cool, which is cool. Uh, the game room was not as, I don't know, the game room wasn't, wasn't as good this year compared to last year. Last year, I played more of the games there, I would say. Uh, I can't really say much about panels and stuff, but there, there were more cosplayers last year, and... I'm kind of sort of basing this on the fact that I took more photos. I, I think I took more photos last year than this year. And, well, I felt last year was a lot more, a lot better and it was a lot more grand. This year it was kind of like, just a little less. Still good, just not as good as last year, so. Yeah, oh yeah, did a couple of panels there too. 
of the River City Games. We were there, I was there, uh, Blondie, SCR, and Zero Master was there, and we got the shirt, Represent, on Bravo 2015. So yeah, that was cool, we got this shirt. I wish I, uh, I kind of wish I got the yellow one, but looking at it now, it's, like, I still like the, the shit, uh, like the, the color choice I picked, but yellow definitely stood out a lot better. And another thing, and yeah. Actually, moving on to the next thing I've done this month. Got some upgrades that... Oh, I got some upgrades from a computer, and basically, the thing that connected to Con Bravo was I didn't... I tried not to spend too much at Con Bravo just so I have so, uh, the money to get some upgrades for my computer because, well, the reason I bought a bare bones bundle from, uh, I bought a bare bones bundle to build is so I can customize it later, and the week before Con Brothel, I saw some deals on online and in person at a couple of places. Yeah, let's just go with that. A couple of places, and I was like, oh, I should get this before the deal goes away. And I, I saw, and there were saw a few things I wanted to replace, like my keyboard and my mouse, because... Well, I wanted to replace them for a certain reason. The keyboard was fading out on me, the letters are like disappearing on me, so that was like... You don't, you don't, I, that really shouldn't bother me, but it, but it, but it does. It does, and I kind of screw up my typing there. And my keyboard was... The keyboard I was using was quite weird, so I wanted that replaced. And the mouse, the mouse was... The mouse was, um... It was just smaller, so I wanted to get a bigger mouse for my hands. So I've been like using small mouses for... Small mouse... Uh, mouses for a while, so I wanted to get that replaced. Uh, let's see. Uh, the main reason I wanted to get the new parts was because the motherboards were on sale, and motherboards are relatively expensive. So I wanted to get them before, you know, they jumped, they uh, went back to the uh, the high prices. I didn't get something like super fancy, but but it was like it, it was like a, I'd say mid tier, mid tier, but yeah. It, it was like, but to me, it was like a pretty good upgrade. Right? And there were, there were a couple of features like I wanted, like for instance, uh, more fans to shoot into my computer computer to keep it cool. And hence, the, let's see, I bought a Cooler Master Evil, is it Evil Evil Two Twelve to keep my CPU uh, uh, cool because the stock cooler was not doing its job. My CPU's temperature was jumping between forty to almost fifty Celsius, and I didn't like that, and I really did not want to buy a replacement CPU for it, because those things would cut. The CPU alone costed more than all the stuff uh, I bought for replacement and upgrading, so I really don't didn't want to spend more things, so I invested in, uh, in a CPU cooler. You can see it right here. Such. Such, and... Yeah, so I upgraded the computer, computer and just bought some more cost-effective stuff. I don't always go for the... Big and expensive stuff, but stuff that that's a good balance between cost and efficiency. Yeah, so that's it for this uh, vlog. I hope you found it informative, and like I said, we'll be working on bigger videos hopefully next month. I'll I'll try. It's just the uh, summer heat really sucks and it puts me to sleep, but that's also still an excuse. I'm just lazy in general. What a big surprise! Lazy work creation. I'm lazy with my with creating my work, but I, I try anyways. So with that said. I'm with for 100 views, viewers, and I'm the Vlogger, so stay tuned for more from LazyWorks Creation. See ya! Fiber reel? Do you care about my fiber? Do you? I don't. Do you?